Hello my Ava J foodies. Today what I'm making for you is my baked mac and cheese. Now what I started off with is a can of evaporated milk. The noodles that I have cooked by the instructions. Now I cook my noodles a little bit longer y'all because I like mine soft. Everybody has their own preference. So the evaporated milk and then six slices of regular American cheese. That's what's in here. Okay. And then you just stir it to the cheese start melting. Next, you're gonna add your cheese in. And the cheeses I use is Kobe Jack and Sharp Cheddar. These are the cheeses I prefer in my baked mac and cheese. And this recipe is real easy. This is my one pot mac and cheese. You just mix everything together in the one pan. And then, you know, you put everything in your pan and you bake it. Next, you're going to add about a cup of sour cream. I don't really measure it. I just kind of eyeball it what I think a cup is. Okay? Then you stir. Stir everything together. Look at that, y'all. Look at that cheesiness. See how easy that is, y'all? Then I'm going to put... Another can of evaporated milk in mine. So I use about two cans because I like mine very creamy. I like a creamy mac and cheese. Cheesy and creamy, y'all. It'd be so good. See how creamy that is, y'all, and cheesy? See that? Then you want to season it with black pepper. Because black pepper brings good flavor to mac and cheese. Makes it, makes it taste very yummy and delicious, as I always tell y'all. See how creamy that is? Okay. Next, after that, y'all, you want to put your mac and cheese in a pan. Look at that, y'all. Don't that look divine, creamy, and delicious? This is how I like my baked mac and cheese. Usually, too, y'all, I put cream cheese in mine, but I ran out of it today, y'all, so I don't have none, and I didn't realize I didn't have it to the last minute. So, honey, when you run out of stuff, you just do what you have to do, and you keep it moving. Do the best you can with what you got, okay? Then, to finish it off, you want to top it with sharp cheddar and, again, a mixture of our Kobe Jack. You want to top it all off. 
You can never have enough cheese in baked mac and cheese. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This just makes it even more cheesy and delicious. So this is an easy recipe for my Ava J foodies out there, y'all. This is how I make my baked mac and cheese. Real simple and easy, y'all. You do everything in one pot. From one pot to the pan, in the oven, and you good. You want to bake this on 400 for about 25 to 30 minutes till the ends are all crispy and bubbly and brown. And the cheese is gooey and delicious. So to the next time, my Ava J foodies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification button for new videos every week. Bye-bye.